hello guys and welcome back to my channel yeah it's me back again i know it's been like eight months since my last video it's been a long time off but i've been busy with school i've been working on assignments i've also had my management placement during that time and management placement is like 12 weeks long and on top of that i was working on my dissertation um anyways i'm happy to be back filming editing and creating content for you guys sincere shout out to everyone who took out time to reach out to me via tiktok instagram and even in my in the comment section of my youtube pages like some people sincerely felt like they've not been seeing me for a while and they reached out to me to ask hope you're okay why have you stopped creating content for us and i was like it's not me <laughs> it's just that school has been really hectic during that period of time and some people just wanted to ask questions like how to start their nursing journey and be, just bits of questions here and there and i was able to attend to some of the questions during that time um oh i haven't introduced myself forgive me so if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is Rashida and I create nursing content in the UK, most especially for people coming from abroad who are interested in studying nursing within a very short period of time. So I've made videos regarding the requirements you need and schools that offer this program. So it's a nursing program, but it takes two years. It, and you get a master's you become registered and yeah it just takes a shorter period of time so today i have a topic that holds the key to your nursing dreams which is how to write a compelling personal statement whether you are applying to nursing school as an undergraduate or as a matured master student you'll definitely find this video helpful so before i dive into the specifics of personal statement let's discuss why a nursing personal statement is so vital your personal statement is essentially your chance to shine it helps you to convey your passion for nursing to show your unique qualities and your commitment to the profession it also goes beyond being an a-list student it simply involves adding your own personal touch that sets you apart from other applicants so even if you are someone that is used to having good grades admissions team wants to see the person behind the credential so a well-written personal statement allows you to connect with the admission team on a personal level this connection will humanize your application and make you a memorable person for the reader without wasting much of your time let's dissect how to write your nursing personal statement so the first thing you need to write about is why you want to study nursing or why you want to be a nurse did you have any personal experience that has motivated you or have you cared for a friend or a family member if you've done that and if you're comfortable sharing that experience then you should write about it and let the reader know that this is what has motivated you to be in us in my personal statement i talked about when i had my first baby how the nurse were so caring how they cared for me during labor after delivery and how they cared for my baby as well so while writing is it is good to let your personality flow tell the reader a little bit about yourself the next thing is to talk about your relevant experience yeah you can write about your healthcare experience whether it's a paid experience or you just volunteered so tell them a bit of your job description while you're in the hospital for example you can say something like in my role as a volunteer nursing assistant I helped with patients washing and dressing i assisted patients with feeding i made patients comfortable i supported patients with their activities of daily living i assisted patients with their mobilization you know things like that it shows the reader that you were involved and you know what you were doing you can also write like short things about your general life experiences you can write about it and it just makes your personal statements very unique all these things should be written in bits don't go over the board when writing them it's just a snippet just a bit of information here and there the next thing is to talk about your skills 
here you can talk about the skills you've acquired over the years in different walks of life such as your communication skills time management skills it skills teamwork organization skills and leading initiatives don't just list all these skills tell them why it is important for nurses to have these skills and how you intend to transfer all the skills that you've gained in other aspects of life how you want to transfer them into nursing next thing you might want to write about is about your leadership positions that you've held in the past or that you're currently holding whether you were a youth leader in your local mosque church or you've been a faculty president class rep coordinator you know things like that it's time to show it off without being boastful and this goes a long way to show that you take initiatives next thing you might want to write about is nmc values here you can talk about how the nmc values resonate with your personality you can also chip in the six c's of nursing and link it with what is expected of you in your role as a nurse this shows that you have done your own work and you understand what you are coming into another thing you may want to include is your future goals what do you intend to do with your nursing degree let's say you like to become an advanced clinical practitioner or a theater nurse or you want to go into research so you can just tell them what you want to do with your nursing degree and you can give them a reason you can also list out your strengths and let the reader know that you are passionate and motivated about nursing because at the end of the day they need to see the passion in what you are writing they need to see that you are self-driven and you are motivated that is what is going to get you that admission you can also talk about your hobbies or what you enjoy doing in a line or two remember you don't have a lot of words to play with because they are going to tell you the number of words that your personal statement is going to be so there are some things that you discuss about them very well but there are some things that you just talk about them in bits so to round this up admission board is going to receive lots of personal statements most of them are going to sound like some of them are even going to sound very very similar so that is why you need to put in the work for your personal statement you need to be able to convince the reader that you want a chance to get an interview slot and get the admission so my top tips for personal statements will be read your personal statement very well word for word before submitting take time to read it out ensure there's no grammatical error there's no typographical error before submitting another tip is start writing early like personal statement is not something you sit down in a day or other one hour and you say you want to write it and that's it you need to have a plan for it start early so that you'll be able to include everything you want to include another one would be check your word count you don't want to go over the word count because it might automatically disqualify your personal statement. So check your word count, ensure you are within the word count limit. Another tip I'll be sharing with you will be seek feedback. Like if you know, you can seek feedback from your friends, family, if you have a mentor or anybody who understands how personal statements and admissions, how all those kind of things works. You can seek feedback from that kind of person they can help you review your personal statement tell you what they feel you need to do or you need to adjust then you can adjust accordingly if needed there might not really be things that the person wants you to do your personal statement might just be fine so always seek feedback it really really helps another tip is never 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 copy someone else's personal statement like a lot of schools they have their plagiarism software so you don't want to you, you don't want to copy somebody else's personal statement and at the end of the day you get disqualified once they run into the plagiarism software and they realized someone has submitted that per, that same personal statement forget it you are it's like it's almost like you are out before you even started so never never copy somebody else's personal statement don't go on google copy outright a nursing personal statement then copy it and submit no you can use them as a guide but try to make sure that it is personal to you try to include your own personal experiences and make sure that your personal statement is all about you so lastly you can use 
apps like Grammarly to help you with your grammatical structure and just like the general flow of your work. Yeah, they are really, really helpful. You can use the free version, which is quite good. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Kindly like, share, and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.